Hi guys, Dave from Rainforest Exotics. Today is a very exciting day, as you can see. We've had a Boiga cyanea, or green cat snake, laying eggs today. Um, a lot of you have guessed how many she's going to lay, so we will find that out shortly. I thought I'd quickly show you me taking them from the nest box uh, and putting them into the incubation box. The female was already tired and has moved away from the egg, so we've just left her to it, and I've just taken the box out to make it easier for ourselves, okay? So these guys come from Southeast Asia. Adults are bright green. Hopefully I'm gonna tie in some pictures into the video so you can see. The babies are born orange with green heads, okay, and go through a color change as they mature. But let's get on with the important stuff. So, here are our eggs. So she's just moved the moss aside and dropped them in there. There are a few slugs and a few odd shapes in there. Um, then here we've got the incubation box. So what I've got here is just vermiculite mixed with water. We just want it so it clumps together nicely and breaks up easily when you want it to. No excess water at all, okay? Once we've put the eggs into this, they'll obviously go into our incubator. Uh, I'll incubate these at about 26.8 degrees. Um, they can drop a little colder overnight and it actually gives you nice robust babies to have uh, a temperature drop in your incubator overnight. So, let's have a look what we've got going on. Here is our first perfect egg. So that is egg number one. So if these eggs are stuck together in a clump, I'm happy with that and I will just leave them as a clump. I will take them out as carefully as I can, hoping not to drop any. Um, we have a diamond shaped slug there. So we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten eggs there. The one we've already put in there is 11 and another good one in the box here is 12. Um, I would say slug, slug and we got a nice square slug there as well. So we often get odd shaped eggs from uh, this snake actually. She laid one the shape of a dice last year. So now I'm just gonna pop them into the box as best I can. So you don't really wanna rotate the eggs, but I find leaning them is fine. Um, you just wanna be nice and gentle and make sure they're propped up. As I said, I'm absolutely not worried that they're sat in a clump at all. Um, I would say this one being a slightly odd shape is going to turn out to be a slug and I'll take that off later if need be. Um, but they do peel apart relatively easily at this point. So in fact, I'm going to do it right now just to show you. So there you go. I would say that one's going to be a slug. So as soon as it starts to go bad, I'll take it and throw it away. That one's probably going to be the same thing. Um, but there you go. Then all we're going to do is pop the lid on. So on my incubation boxes, I have a small hole in the lid. Uh, and I will occasionally open the boxes for a little bit of air exchange. On all of my lids for my incubation boxes, you get a few memories as well. So there's other things that I've incubated in there at some point. Um, and then we literally just run them over to our incubator when I've got the lid on. So follow me this way, everybody. So this is one of my incubators. It's a really nice, easy design. I've got a digital thermostat on the top. Um, this temperature is running at uh, 27.2, but inside the box is actually a little bit less because of where the probe is for the thermostat. And then if I open it up, you can see I've got a few things in here cooking already. Um, oh, there they are from last year. That's where they incubated last year. Um, so we just pop that in there. Um, in here at the minute, we've got some Mexican black king snakes and some Kribos. This is a really simple design of incubator. So in this section here, I've got some ceramic heaters uh, and then the heat is actually pulled around by computer fans uh, and it just goes around the, around the zigzag of shelves. Gives us a nice constant temperature. It works like a dream. I have a few of these. This is my uh, lower temperature incubator. We've got another one running it at the minute with python eggs in and stuff like that, okay? So, Here's a quick look at our incubating techniques for our Boiga Cyanea. For anybody that guessed it, 10 eggs, well done. And we'll see you again soon. Thanks a lot.